when the young nun understood that God had given him a handsome young man in the end, what happens when you meet a guy who is too handsome? Hello, today I will spoil the movie Virgin Territory. The film opens where our main character, Lorenzo, is on the run, the underlings of the town's gangster Durbino, but luckily he has the fighting skills to escape. Durbino orders his men to kill Lorenzo, who knows he can't stay in town. This one got another one so he thought of escaping from this city before he could bring flowers to place it for a rich man's daughter named Pampinia with different positions therefore, the two cannot be in a relationship. Then a friend brought a horse to Lorenzo and telling him to hurry away before the Gerbino comes after him. Along the way, he meets a man and asks where is the road ahead? The man said it was a path full of frightening nuns, so Lorenzo knew that the path ahead was a church. The Gerbino's men followed, and Lorenzo quickly rode away. When he escaped, he went up to sneak up on the tree. But the branch he was clinging on was broken. Then the nun came to see him. Being handsome, the nun thought that he falling from heaven so they were brought back to the church. When they arrived, the nuns looked at the handsome boy and said we should try to take off his clothes and see if there were any wounds. Causing our Lorenzo, who was pretending to be asleep, liked it, and then the nun bowed down to kiss him too, but he opened his eyes. This made her very shocked, then the head nun came in. The young nun said he was still alive. But he refused to say a word, so the head nun asked, can he speak or listen? Lorenzo hearing this, they pretended to be unable to speak, and unable to hear, causing the nuns to understand that he really fell from heaven. The head nun ordered them to take a bath. And two young nuns followed him in the bathroom and if you want to know how you must go see it in full movie. Back on the Gerbino's side, he meets with Pampinia to express his condolences over her father's death. He said that before her father left, he gave it to him. Is the one who protects her and also lied that Pampinia's father indebted to trade all of which are Gerbino's plans but Pampinia said that he was going to marry Count Dzerzhinsky who was coming from Russia, but Gerbino didn't care and lied that the last thing her father had ordered before his death, is to give her to him so he knelt down and asked her to marry. Pampinia who felt lonely had to pretend to surrender. One night she meets two young friends at a church in the city to plot a Gerbino escape because her father has appointed her to marry Count Dzerzhinsky, but his friend Melissa suggests that Pampinia go featuring Lorenzo first. Married Siana, hearing that, disagreeing, still thinks it's embarrassing. We shouldn't have sex with men before we get married. Just then, a Gerbino walked in and interrupted the conversation. He wants to bring the Pampinia home and he meets two of Lorenzo's best friends, so Durbino decides to take them off. A painter disguised as a pastor then said this was God's place, causing the Durbino to do nothing. After which Pampinia rode in a carriage to hide in a distant church, and disguised herself as a nun to live there. Said that he was a gardener sent from heaven and also said that he could not speak, but the Pampinia knew the truth. But she didn't tell anyone. She saw Lorenzo having sex with the nuns, causing jealousy and dissatisfaction in the next day when these young nuns bringing hot water to Lorenzo and bathe Pampinia, he poured water on his head before the young nun brought him to the head nun, leaving for a rural home to attend Pampinia's wedding. Along the way, Siana is secretly featuring her boyfriend. At that moment a bandit appears, to arrest everyone. The crime boss Alexandro wants them featuring them. With Melissa's ingenuity, she pranks the waters, charms and seduces the leader of the bandits. Then the two girlfriends used etiquette to make the thieves crazy and quarrel and fight amongst themselves. Until everyone was able to escape. The cutscene comes to Count Dzerzhinsky, who is on his way to the Pampinia's house. When he arrives, he meets a Durbino. He understands that it is her father. Gerbino says that he is a man who is going to marry a Pampinia, 
but Count Dzerzhinsky does not believe it, and they too really believe that the Pampinia was going to marry a man who was older than his father, Drabino kicked him out of the house. Before Count Dzerzhinsky left the city, a man brought a letter saying that now Pampina safe he was able to meet her at a country house to get married, so he hurriedly headed. But along the way, he meets Turbino's henchmen who trap to attack. All his followers were shot dead by arrows, and only Count Dzerzhinsky escaped. But he had to meet the Turbino that was waiting for him. Even if he was the only one left, he was not afraid, because he had a gun, allowing him to escape. On the way, while taking a break for a drink, he meets Melissa taking a shower. He was stunned at her. Asked if she was human, Melissa said no, she was a nymph. So he asked what she was doing here, Melissa said that he was from Florin to wait for the groom to have a wedding. Convinced him that she was a Pampinia, he introduced himself as Count Dzerzhinsky. As soon as Melissa finished speaking, Melissa came out of the water, and the two of them, featuring Swing, had sex. Later, Pampinia brought food to Lorenzo. She closed his eyes. Keep it and say she paints him in her dreams every night with her eyes closed. Before you kiss him and leave. After that, Pampinia came to sue the head nun that he could hear Lorenzo singing in the garden, because the Pampinia didn't want Lorenzo to be with the beautiful nuns. When the head nun learns the truth therefore secretly went to Lorenzo room then whispered in his ear that she would use a knife to cut his penis, causing Lorenzo to startle and cry loudly. The head nun knew he was lying, but Lorenzo pretended to say that it was a miracle that he could speak. Then he was expelled from the church, but not knowing where to go. Lorenzo kept wandering around the church until the Pampinia rode in a horse-drawn carriage. When the two meet she looked like she couldn't see and asked what he was doing here. Lorenzo said he had escaped the hunt to be a gardener here. As for the Pampinia, she said she was going to marry Count Dzerzhinsky, and Lorenzo said she was going to marry a fat man who had never seen his face. So she said back, I heard that you Count was here and he was very hot, and Lorenzo asked to take a carriage with him. In the evening meal Lorenzo says he fell in love with a woman who closed his eyes and kissed him. The Pampinia told him how to find a woman he had never seen before. Which he did not know either but he will never forget her. That night, just as they were about to kiss, Drabino and henchmen had arrived, but this time Lorenzo did not want to escape anymore. He asked for a sword to duel the Gerbino alone, so the Gerbino took advantage. This killed Lorenzo until the Pampinia had to come and beg him to spare his life. And will agree to marry with Gerbino so spared Lorenzo the next day, while Gerbino's underlings are taking control of Lorenzo, he has dealt with his two subordinates before the wedding ceremony begins. Pampinia made a request to Pastor. She asked for as long as possible, hoping that Count Dzerzhinsky would come in time. But Pastor said that it was difficult to do until the Pampinia gave him the money. Father therefore agreed. When the wedding ceremony begins Father tried to delay the time by harassing the Gerbino so much that Count Dzerzhinsky intervened in time to interrupt the wedding. Meanwhile, Lorenzo arrived just in time. The two of them worked together to manage all the Gerbino's underlings until only the last boss left, which Count Dzerzhinsky had to fight with a sword. With Gerbino and be the winner but he didn't kill it, along with giving the Gerbino a chance to fight Lorenzo which Lorenzo was able to defeat, the Gerbino fell into a very deep well. When the Pampinia came, Count Dzerzhinsky confessed her love, but the Pampinia refused, and when she opened her face, he said that she was not a Pampinia, but that she was the woman who was going to marry. Then the two kissed. After the story, Lorenzo thought of leaving. Pampinia quickly followed and said that she loved him. But Lorenzo says that he can't love her because now he has someone in mind. So she asked him to close his eyes. Along with saying she paints him in her dreams every night with her eyes closed. Then they kissed, 
letting Lorenzo know that the woman who kissed him that day was a Pampinia, and the movie had a happy ending.